Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm having a great day. Well, it's nighttime now, guys. <clears throat> Guess what? I had to come on this video to make sure that you guys are out there or have been out there or are going out there in those Dollar General streets, guys. Listen, I've seen some of y'all say in the comments, my store's not having it. My state's not having it. Listen, y'all, Boss Lady Fee's not buying it, okay? I know all Dollar Generals are different, but Boss Lady Fee is not buying the fact that your store is not having a clearance event, okay? It's Dollar Generals across the world having the clearance event, okay? So let me break this down, okay? Although I consider myself a Dollar General queen, I don't necessarily consider myself a Dollar General clearance event queen, okay? Now, I do know a lot, and I've been doing it for years, but they have a tendency to switch up from time to time. So there may be some things that I don't know, okay? So I'm not gonna come in as the professor of the clearance events, okay? That's not what my channel is about. Although we do a lot of shopping hauls, we do clearance events, we do clearance hauls, all of that, I give you guys information, but my channel is not geared towards just telling you about clearance events and breaking all of that down, okay? That's just kind of like an added little bonus on this channel, okay? So listen, I want to show you guys some things that you may not be aware of, okay? Oh, let me go back to this. I, why I'm not buying it, okay? Because out of, I'll say out of eight stores I went to, only about two stores had, um, well, I'll say maybe three. Only about three stores had um, the clearance event signs up there, okay? So, don't always go by the signs. I say it all the time. I'm going to do a dance so y'all know. Don't go by the signs. Don't go by the signs, okay? I want to do that dance so when you go in Dollar General, you can see me doing it and you can remember I said, Boss Lady Fee said, do not go by the signs, okay? Or the lack thereof a sign. That's probably what I should be saying. Don't think there's not a sale because there's not a sign saying there's a sale, okay? As I said, 90% of the stores I went to, none of them had signs up. With that being said, okay? Get your beautiful Dollar General app out and scan, okay? You're following my channel. You're following other channels, hopefully, that gears towards Dollar General hauls or Dollar General clearance events. And then you are able to see more specific items, okay? But I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't care who channel you follow. No channel is going to be able to get or post every single item that's on clearance, okay? Okay. That's why it would behoove you to have a Dollar General app on your phone. And yes, the app trips sometime. Okay, it's a computer-generated thing. So it's going to trip sometime. Folks trip sometime. Computers trip sometime, okay? Anyway, look, before I go into Dollar General, now we're going to make this a two-part video, okay? Um, because one, I want to show you guys all these toys one by one. But I also want to show you the things that you may not be aware of and you may have not looked at, okay? But before I do that, I want to show you guys this, what I got yesterday from Michaels, Michaels, okay? Not Michaels, Hobby Lobby. I don't have a Michaels in my CD anymore. They closed down. $2.49, y'all, these nice shopping bags. This particular pack has 10 in it. It's a 10-piece Okay, for those of you like me that have businesses, I have a boutique. And let me make clarity on that, y'all. I know I'm bringing a lot of stuff in. My boutique, I've had for about four years, okay? I just put up a short a few days ago about me and my son's boutique because I have a lot of new subscribers that are not aware of the fact that I have a boutique. But thank y'all. For the congratulations. But I've been open. My boutique has been open, okay? I just put that up there just to add it in so that people would know what I do. And I need to advertise it more anyway. Um, $2.99, guys. This is a 12-piece set. These can be used for um, Mother's Day. Or like I said, if you have a business or, hey, you're following me, so you have some sort of business or thinking about going in business, 
You can use this to put your items in that you sell and just put your label on the front or put your sticker or what have you on the front, okay? I have another business that's about to pop, okay? So some of these are going to come in handy for that. We'll talk about that when the time comes, okay? Um, but anyway, $2.99 for $12. I mean, they had so many, y'all. I think I bought about $28 worth of bags, okay? But you couldn't beat it, y'all. $2.49. You go to Dollar Tree and you spend 125 on one bag alone, and they're not even this big. Two forty nine for ten of these bags, and you can put your own business label on it. I got, like I said, I got quite a few packs, y'all. But let me show you the smaller ones and the price. And I know I look a mess, y'all. I know my hair is all falling down. We we ain't worried about that, okay? The smaller ones are one forty nine. You pay one twenty five for two at Dollar Tree. Okay, it is ten piece pack for one forty nine. Okay, so of course I picked up quite a bit of this. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right. So this see. Oh, this size is one ninety nine, and it has ten. Okay, so one forty nine, one ninety nine, two forty nine, and two ninety nine. For 10 to 12 bags, you cannot beat that. So make sure you're looking at your local Hobby Lobby to see if you carry that. Okay, now on to the things that you may not knew of. Okay, at Dollar General. Let me show y'all. And I was thinking about this earlier when I started shopping, but I never really put my time and attention into it, which lets me know I probably left some behind, which probably lets me know that I'll be back out in the streets tomorrow. Okay. Baby, let's red dots. These were 90 cent, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and it smells great. I didn't even smell it, honey. I just got it because I know I was going to use it for Mother's Day. It is Frosted Rose, okay? But look for the red dot on the bottom, okay? Red dot on the bottom. So we only found two of these. But the candles are one thing I want you guys to be looking for, okay? These are not the only ones, I'm sure. These are just the only ones that I could find in the last store that I just stopped in, okay? Now, this may not be all of the stuff because everything is kind of mixed in. Let me bring the camera down some. This stuff is all mixed in probably with some of my toys, so this may not be all. But let me take this out. I hope these bottles are, I mean, these tops are on tight because I bought some the other day and half of it had spilled in the bag. Which I know I got some more of these because I bought like, not even this one. It was, I got a whole nother bag up under here somewhere. It is, the, this is the shea butter and brown sugar, which smells pretty good. Um, but I got another one that does not, this one, it don't smell bad, but it's not the pick of the litter, okay? Um, cocoa butter and oat milk. Okay, let's, let me smell it one more time. And I'm smelling it like y'all can smell it through the camera, right? It don't smell bad at all. It don't. It's just not, you know, it's probably not going to be your first choice. But it's the fact that it's caress and it's a good product. And some people just love um, this bottle is much, oh no, it's the same size. For some reason, it looks smaller. Okay, so these are ringing. I think I paid $2.20 for these. Y'all don't mind my shirt. I just finished eating, okay? I just finished eating me a salad. Um, I bought it earlier today, but I just now ate it. Um, this smells really amazing. So just go in your Dollar General and scan these caress different ones. Um, cause your store may have different scents than what I have. Um, but these rank up $2 and some change y'all. Amazing, amazing. You can put in your, um, adult Easter baskets or your teenage Easter baskets and definitely going to use them for Mother's Day. Um, the lavender and jasmine down. I paid one something for these. I forgot what it was. One... I don't remember. One something. I don't know. But anyway, these soaps, y'all, was 35 cents a piece. 
35 cent a piece for this swab. I've never used it before. I just got it. I mean, I've used swab products, but I've never used swab soap. But it smells pretty good. So I got quite a few of those. You got the Ocean Breeze, um, Soothing Aloe, and I got Coco Shea Calming Bar. So I got quite a few of those. They were ringing up, what were they ringing up? One, I don't know, but make sure you scan these, okay? Because when I scanned it, it automatically showed me like it was an in-house. It wasn't on the app, but it was like an in-house um, advertisement on the swab. So it automatically took, I think, $2 off of two bars or something. Yeah, that's what it is. It took two dollars off of two bars, and they were one thirty-five a piece, which made them two seventy. Took the two dollars off and made them thirty-five cent per pack. Six bars of soap for thirty-five cent. You can't beat it. Okay. So I got what six six packs of those. This right here was ringing up two o five, I believe. Tierra said this men dove two dollars. Put it up if you got a husband, boyfriend, baby daddy, or you can use it for your Father's Day baskets, okay? I didn't pick up a whole lot of these because from my understanding, Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, Family Dollar has these for a dollar, well, different characters for a dollar. These were 150 I got the JoJo Siwa because I found something else today, JoJo Siwa, and I went ahead and picked it up, guys, but this was ringing 150 These are your blue dots so make sure you not all blue dots now because i did scan some and some do not follow always scan okay and that will give you the answer that you need um two more things well not actually two more things but two more sets of things and then we're going to be ending this video okay i showed this on my live but i do understand not everybody saw the live okay these, I think, was ringing up maybe 30 cent, 40 cent. I don't remember. I know it wasn't much. Let's see. $2.30. So, they were 30 cent, okay, because it was 70% off plus an additional um, 50. So, these were 30 cent, y'all. Some cute, heavy duty. You can use these for storage or you can use these to make your baskets in, okay? You see why you do not have to go to the Dollar Tree. If you get out here in these clearance streets, you do not have to buy stuff from Dollar Tree. I'm not knocking Dollar Tree. Probably going to stop by there tomorrow and probably going to get a haul. But I like more expensive looking items, sturdier items that I pay less money for. These are red dot and these would have been 45 cent. Okay, I paid 45 cent for these. So 30 cent for the small, 45 cent and the large ones were 90 cent. Okay. And they come in blue and gray. Oh, these are different ones. These were 90 cents as well. As well. well, no. These might have been something different. What was these? 70% 150. These might have been 75. I don't know. I need to go back and look at my receipt on these. Okay. But these were, they had to be like 75 cents. Okay. Really, really nice, sturdy. Baskets. These, I know. I remember these were 45. These were 45. I remember looking at the receipt on these. So, yeah, I got quite a few of these. We got some more back here in the bag. And last but not least, let me, let me bring the camera up just a little bit so I don't have to move. I don't have to um, move this. Hopefully, y'all can see around. Maybe I should move it this way. Anyway, red dot pillow. Okay, check your pillows. Check your bedding. One eighty. Originally twelve dollars. I paid a dollar and eighty cent for this oversized long pillow. Okay. Let me tell y'all this. Red dot normally is their back to school items. Okay back to school items so when they were preparing for back to school these are the type of things that they had like for college kids school kids so that will kind of give you um 
a idea of what kind of items you can be looking for for the red dot. It's kind of like items you would, they would use for college or back to school, okay? So we got this foldable storage ottoman, originally $18, and I paid $2.70, $2.70 for this nice, nice, it's navy blue and white. We're gonna be using this in our Mother's Day baskets as well. And this was the bomb.com, y'all. I got three of these, okay? These are folding trays, y'all. I paid $3 for these. They were originally $20, okay? This is the first store that I even paid attention to these. Now, look, this is just a yellow square, um, just a yellow tag. It doesn't have a red dot on it, but it's following the red dot, okay? Some items like these, okay, these particular ones have the red dot. Y'all yeah, might can't see from here. These have red dots, but these do not have red dots, but they are following the red dot, okay? I don't have time to go all into it into this video, guys. Just follow along, okay? Follow the yellow brick road. Um, I got two of these, y'all, for $3. So I just randomly scanned it, and when I randomly scanned it, it came up. So that was following the red dot as well. Again, another item in the back to school um, department. These um, wall shelves, we're gonna be using these in our Mother's Day basket. See, I use I use items that are not traditional a lot of time. I use a lot of houseware, um, a whole lot of different things like that in my baskets. I don't just do bath and body, um, you know, stuff. I do housewares, okay? So you might see a shelf in my basket. You might see a mirror in my basket. You might see a clock in my basket. Any kind of stuff like that. All of these um, shelves, this one was $2. I didn't pay, $3 was the highest that I paid. So I got those two items. I got this shelf. I got this shelf. 15, originally $15. Originally $15. 20 and 20. $15 originally, $15 originally, right? So I got one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, and then the ottoman, four, five, six, seven items that I paid $20.19, okay? $20 including the tax. The pillow wasn't included because I got that from another store. But two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And let's see how much the total price was. 15, 30, 45, 60, 80, 100, and let's see how much the ottoman was. $118 worth of product for $20, okay? Did y'all hear me? $118 worth of product that I only paid $20 for. And I wasn't thinking, okay, this is the part I've been slipping and sleeping on today, y'all. I keep right on forgetting to use my five off of 25. I've used it a couple times, but I forgot to use it like twice. Because when I got that stuff right there, I could have got a couple more things and then just made my total, um, you know, back $20, but I would have had more items all I had to do was get five more dollars worth of stuff, and then I would have been paying twenty dollars for that. So the other stuff that I got would have actually like been free. I forgot it again when I got all of the bath, um, the bath uh, gel, shower gel. I got that from a store, and I think I spent like thirty dollars at that store. I forgot to use my coupon. I was like, "What?" And the man was like, "Well, I can re-ring everything up." I said, "Sir, have a great day." Okay. Have a great day. We're not going to worry about it. I'm on my way to the next store. So anyway, make sure you're using your 5 off of 25. Again, if this is your first time watching my videos for today. And if you have, you definitely need to go back and watch them because I gave some very vital information in my live and in my pre-recorded video. But the 5 off of 25 is for today, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Not just a regular Saturday five off of 25. This three day um, clearance event, you can use the five off of 25. And the marvelous part about it 
if you've used a digital um, coupon, you've already used the digital off of your app, on the bottom of every Dollar General receipt, there is a five off of 25. Go buy your pack of gum. But if you like me, you've been in the Dollar General streets all day, you have probably receipts on top of receipts, okay? But if you don't, and tomorrow's gonna be your first time getting out here, then go ahead, buy your pack of gum so you can get that receipt. Um, but if you haven't used it, hey, use the digital. And then if you need, once you use the digital, then it'll print off, give you another um, coupon, and bam, for your next store or your next haul, you will be able to save $5. Don't do like me and pay that money and then forget all about the $5, okay? I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. Share it. Give a comment, guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching all of my videos. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this video is 20 some minutes long, so I'm not going to do any type of editing. I'm just going to upload it directly from my phone, okay? But anyway, get out here, guys. This is the way you're able to make over five figures. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep preaching it to John. I'm going to keep preaching it like John the Baptist, okay? I'm going to prepare the way for those that's coming behind me. This is the way that you make five figures, not $5,000, but five figures, one, two, three, comma, one, two. Okay, five figures. All right, this is how you do it, by shopping like this and busting your butt to make your gift baskets and then busting your butt to get out here and sell them, okay? Guys, I'm getting off this video. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye.